Rightly Dividing 1 Corinthians Study Guide Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 Mary Ann Manley Rightly Dividing 1 Corinthians Study Guide By Mary Ann Manley Rightly Dividing 1 Corinthians Study Guide Copyright 2021 by Mary Ann Manley St. Paul Delivering the Areopagus Sermon in Athens by Raphael, 1515 Acknowledgement To God be the glory for helping me write this book. I am grateful for the support of my dear husband Chuck and my children during this time. I would like to thank some of the many grace pastors who have helped me understand God's word rightly divided, Les Feldick, Richard Jordan, Tom Brescia, Rick Jordan, David Reed, David Osteen, Ricky Kurth, and others. I was particularly helped by Sean Brousseau's informative articles on forwatsethscriptures.org. I am delighted with the cover and artwork for the hymns by Madeleine Wilkinson. I thank Leanne Miko and others for their memes. I am grateful for Patty Carlson for proofreading and sign making. In preparing these books, I primarily read and study the Word of God over and over again until the Holy Spirit helps me to understand His Word better, but I also listen to sermons, read articles, and books. Asterisk and note from the author. After teaching on all of Paul's letters and writing commentaries, I am going through his letters again, taking a closer look at each and every paragraph in conjunction with my additional understanding. This is the new Closer Walk or Look series for rightly dividing Paul's letters, mystery, from the rest of the Bible, prophecy. My goal is to increase the reader's understanding of the Bible and accelerate their spiritual growth. This study guide is meant to be used along with the King James Bible. Some important and difficult passages are quoted and scrutinized more thoroughly. While Satan is preparing the world for Antichrist, God's Spirit in us is working to prepare us to be useful here and in heaven. When some verses are found in 1 Corinthians, I write, 1.10, instead of 1 Cor, 1.10. How to use this book, skim it first, read it using a ruler and a pen, when you find a great cross-reference or comment you can mark it in your Bible, circle and color important words, make notes so that you have them. Next time you read that passage. I recommend the Schofield Study Bible 3 in the King James Version. It is wise to get a leather cover for it that holds a pen and zips. I recommend reading God's Secret A Primer with pictures for how to rightly divide the word of truth before this book. For a complete Between the Bible text analysis, please read our commentaries on all of Paul's letters, Acts, and Hebrews. We have a salvation booklet. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. The importance of His Son in us. Introduction 1 Corinthians Summary Forward Table of Contents 1 Corinthians Outline 1 Corinthians Chapter Review Sentences Chapter 1 God's Wisdom and Power in the Cross of Christ Timeline Chapter 2 After the Cross, God Revealed His Hidden Mystery Chapter 3 Rewards in Heaven for Service to God Chapter 4 Stewards of the Mysteries, Apostolic Example Chapter 5 Wrong Thinking Results in Wrong Living, Immorality Rebuked Chapter 6 Disputes in the Courts, Judging the World and Angels, The Three Circles Chapter 7 Concerning Marriage Chapter 8 The Weaker Brother, Idols, and Our Liberty Chapter 9 Paul defends his apostleship and limits his liberty. 
Chapter 10 Do not be like Israel, help the weak, and save souls Chapter 11 Christian Order and the Lord's Supper Chapter 12 The Purpose of Gifts in this Early Church Chapter 13 Using Sign Gifts in Love and Their Impending Cessation Chapter 14 Regulation of Spiritual Gifts in the Local Assembly Chapter 15 Concerning the Hope of Resurrection Chapter 16 Concerning the Collection for the Saints, Faith, and Farewell the Mysteries Revealed to Paul About the Author Other Books by Marianne Manley The Importance of His Son in Us we need to know His Son and that we are in Him and we have His Son in us. We are nothing without Christ. It is all about Him. The Father wants us to know that our greatest resource is His Son. He wants us to see Him the way He does and to appreciate Him and value Him as He does. We are to find our identity in Him. He is the price. He is the issue. who he is and what he has accomplished by the cross. His son's loving sacrifice allowed the father to impute his son's spirit to two groups, heavenly and earthly, wrong. 3 colon 21 dash 26. We cannot serve God in our flesh, but God's son can serve God through us. The right doctrine produces the right thinking in us, which when we believe it, moves our bodies to serve him, Rom 8, 11. We are transformed by the renewing of your mind, Rom 12, 2. It produces the work of faith with power, 1 Thess, 1, 11. Christ enables us to do what we cannot do on our own. The new man, Christ's Spirit in us, 1 Cor. 6.17, does the work through us. We are all at different levels in our maturity in Christ. We need to grow up in the measure and stature of Jesus Christ. Christ needs to be formed in us, Gal. For 19, we are at varying stages of Bay transformed into his image, Rom. 8.29, we need his life to work in the details of our life till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 13 How to put on Christ, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, f. 4 colon 21-24. We are renewed in our mind by dividing Paul's letters to us from the rest of the Bible. The law showed us who we are in Adam, a sinner. What we need is his righteousness and to live by faith in his word to us rightly divided. We are under grace. We do not live by following a bunch of do's and don'ts, but we serve our father as his sons out of love and gratitude for his son's sacrifice. Bible preachers and teachers speak and write commenting on the Bible to try to help others understand it. They are imperfect, but the Holy Bible is perfect. Hymns are sacred songs because they were written down as a result of his work of faith in the writers, they are the outpouring of praise to him. Baptized for the dead. Crucified with Christ. A sinner in Adam's sinful family buried with Christ, raised with Christ as a new person in Christ. The lost are in Adam. At salvation, we go from being in Adam to being in Christ. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive, 1 Cor. 15 
being baptized for the dead, one core. 1529 is our spiritual identification with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Rom. 6 colon 3, 4, when we believe the gospel of Christ, 1 core. 15 colon 3, 4. Dead to sin, but alive unto God, the gospel of Christ. I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 and 4. Know ye not, that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Romans 6 verses 3 and 4. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead, if the dead rise not at all? Why are they then baptized for the dead? 1 Corinthians 15 verse 29. Introduction Paul's letter to the Corinthians is about the wisdom and power of God in the cross of Jesus Christ. It is designed to bring the Corinthians back to the truth, mature them, and deal with the divisions among them caused by their failure to understand Paul's unique apostleship. Paul wants them to become mature unified believers, not babes so they will not follow human wisdom or men who do not follow what Christ said through him. He used the judgment seat of Christ and resurrection to help them know their conduct matters in eternity. Paul wrote this epistle one year before the end of his three years in Ephesus in Acts 19 circa AD 56. It is a letter of reproof for not following Apostle Paul, not walking as spiritual mature saints, and not practicing the doctrine in Romans. Satan wants to cause division in the body of Christ, for men's personalities to be exalted, and even Christ's earthly ministry in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John over Christ's heavenly ministry, 112. Satan wants there to be cliques, factions, and denominations, but God wants us to have unity, 110 F. For colon 1-6, Satan knows the strategy of divide and conquer. This problem occurs when members do not follow Paul to follow the risen Lord Jesus Christ, 11 colon 1. This letter to the Corinthians is in response to a letter carried by Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaicus, 16 17, concerning questions about marriage, food offered to idols, the resurrection, and more. But Paul was troubled by a report from those of the house of Chloe of deepening division in the church, the lack of church discipline for incest by a member, and other issues not mentioned in their letter. Paul spends chapters 1 to 6 for proving the Corinthians for things he heard from Chloe's house, and then in chapters 7 to 16 answers their questions. Paul was grieved because the carnal Corinthians were living like unbelievers. They were guilty of conduct unbecoming of a saint. The Corinthians were impressed by human wisdom. Ungodly thinking produces. Ungodly living and useless labor for God. As we study Corinthians, we will know the power of the message of the cross to save, learn how to live in our new identity in Christ, learn how to be mature in the faith, learn how to live a useful life of service to our Lord Jesus Christ, and be assured of our resurrection, rapture, 614. No one becomes spiritually mature accidentally. Spiritual growth requires a diligent study and an ever closer look into God's infallible word. Our ministry is not about us, but the power of Christ crucified and risen again. Our goal is to save the lost and share the mystery. 1 Corinthians Summary Follow Paul to follow the risen Christ. 1 Corinthians is about the wisdom and power of God in the cross of Jesus Christ. The preaching of Christ crucified has the power to save souls. It is reproof for not following what Christ's Apostle Paul wrote in Romans. In 1 Corinthians, Paul corrects their thinking, conduct, and service to God. He calls them carnal and babes as he deals with the division among them, their overemphasis on temporary sign gifts, and going to public courts to solve their disputes. He says it is better to suffer the wrong. He told them that God had a secret plan to form the body of Christ that Satan did not know about because it was not in the Bible. 
If Satan had known, he would not have allowed Christ to be crucified. 2 6 8. He told them about the judgment seat of Christ. He said that they were puffed up with pride and should have dealt with the fornicator by putting him out of their local assembly. He informed them that Christ made him the master builder, 310, of the body of Christ, a steward of the mysteries, and the dispenser of the doctrine. 9.17 He defended his apostleship and wanted them to follow him as he follows Christ. For 16, 17, 11, 1, Paul is always careful to give all the glory to Christ who is in him. Then he answered their questions about marriage, eating food offered to idols, and the resurrection. They should not be unbelievers like Israel in the wilderness. He corrected them regarding respectfully celebrating the Lord's death with the Lord's Supper and to restore order in the church. He told them that sign gifts would end when he had received the full revelation of the mystery from Christ. We are to do everything with charity. Finally, he said that just as the resurrection of Christ was a proven witnessed fact, so will our resurrection, rapture, be. He ended the letter telling them that he would visit, but not yet because he had a great ministry opportunity in Ephesus. In the meantime, he wanted them to take up a collection for Peter and his group O in Jerusalem. Paul said that if any man considered himself spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord, 1437. To be spiritual is to live our doctrine. forward. In order to be allowed into heaven, you need the righteousness of Jesus Christ. The dark stormy clouds of the horrific tribulation were brewing on the horizon in Acts 7, but God interrupted prophecy and inserted the mystery. God began a new dispensation of grace, F. 3 colon 1-9, when he appeared to Saul of Tarsus on the road to Damascus and saved him and made him his apostle of the Gentiles, Rom. 11.13, in Acts 9. God hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, F. 1 colon 4, to fill the heavenly places, F. 2 colon 6, and live eternal in the heavens, 2 Cor. 5 colon 1. God now offers us grace and peace. We can relax and enjoy the blue skies and the glorious sunshine. Today God is offering salvation to anyone who will simply believe in his heart who Jesus is, God's Son, and what he has done, died on the cross for our sins and rose. Jesus lived a perfect life, kept the law perfectly, and never sinned. Jesus Christ paid the price with his blood for the sins of all mankind when we believe God imputes his righteousness to us. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 Once we are saved we can work for God. The Bible tells us that God even used murderers like Moses, David, and Paul. So he can use us as we present our bodies a living sacrifice for Christ to live through. The only thing that we can take with us when we die is the doctrine we have built up in our inner man, soul and spirit. The souls and spirits of those we may have helped be saved and taught will also go to heaven. We read his word, then understand it with our mind, spirit, then we believe that with our heart, soul. This is how the word gets into our inner man so it can work effectually in us who believe, 1 Thess, 2.13 it is important to be rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, because otherwise we will not understand the Bible and we will not be able to function the way God wants us to. We must understand the difference between the prophetic program and the mystery program. All the Bible is for our learning, Rom. 15 colon 4, but Romans to Philemon is the doctrine specifically for the body of Christ. The rest of the Bible is for those who will live in the kingdom on earth. Paul's 13 letters are not chronological, they follow the order given 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness.
Romans equals doctrine, right teaching or instructions. 1 and 2 Corinthians equals reproof, reprimand for bad behavior. Galatians equals correction, correct bad thinking. Ephesians equals doctrine. Philippians equals reproof. Colossians equals correction. 1 and 2 Thessalonians equals doctrine, instruction in righteousness. 1 and 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon equals doctrine, instruction in righteousness. Romans, foundational doctrine, 1 and 2 Corinthian, reproof for wrong living due to wrong thinking according to the apostle of the Gentiles doctrine in Romans and Galatians, correction for leaving grace in Romans and living under the law. Paul was put on house arrest in the last chapter of Acts in Acts 28. These epistles were written during his Acts ministry before Paul received the full revelation of the mystery. They are the foundational doctrines of the cross and are best understood when read together. The order of Paul's Acts epistles including when and where they were written. Galatians 1 Thess, 2 Thess, 1 Cor, 2 Cor. Acts 18 verse 5. Acts 20 verse 1. Corinth. Acts 15 verse 35. Antioch. Acts 18 verse 11. Corinth. Acts 19 verse 10, Ephesus, Macedonia. The biggest blunder of the church is to not recognize that it began in Acts 9. Romans, Acts 20 verse 3, Corinth. Romans 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Salatians, Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus Philemon. 1 Corinthians Outline Reproof of Sins, 1 to 6, asterisk the key verse, 110, is on the cover of the book. I. Introduction, their fellowship in Christ is because God is faithful, 1 colon 1 9, A. Their state is not matching their standing in Christ, 110 to 421. 1. Divisions in the church and need speak the same thing, 1 colon 10-17. 2. Human wisdom contrasted with God's wisdom, 1 colon 18-25. 3. Corinthians not of the wise, Christ is our wisdom, 1 colon 26-31. 4. The mystery, God's hidden wisdom and spiritual truth, 2, 5. Carnal and worldly versus spiritual growth and maturity. 3 colon 1 dash 8, 6. Rewards for being laborers together with God, 3 colon 9 dash 3 colon 23, 7. Stewards of the mysteries of God, apostolic example, 4, 2. Wrong living, immorality rebuked, 5. 3. Disputes in the courts. Believers are the temple of the Holy Ghost, 6. Replying to questions, 7 to 16. 4. Concerning marriage, 7. V. The weaker brother, idols, and limitation of Christian liberty, 8. 6. Paul defends his apostleship and grace giving, 9. 7. Israel as an example of what not to do. Be separated to God, 10. 8. Christian Order and the Lord's Supper, 11. 9. Concerning the operation and abuse of spiritual gifts, 12 to 14. A. The purpose of gifts in this early church, 12. B. Using sign gifts in love and their impending cessation, 13. C. Regulation of spiritual gifts in the local assembly, 14. X. Concerning the hope of resurrection, 15. A. Proof of the Resurrection, 15 1 34. B. Process of the Resurrection, 15 35 49. C. Pending victory over death as motivation for loyal service, 15 50 58. 11. Concerning the collection for the saints and farewell, 16 1 24. 1 Corinthians Chapter Review Sentences 1. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. 
2. God's wisdom to keep the dispensing of the gospel and his head mystery. 3. To receive rewards built on Paul's foundation laid on top of Christ's. 4. Treated as scum Paul said, follow me and my ways which be in Christ. 5. Paul said, a little leaven leavens the whole lump, remove the fornicator. 6. Why go to court about church matters before unbelievers who are like you were? 7. Stay in the marriage you were in when saved. You may marry who you will, but only in the Lord. Singles are more free to serve God. 8. Do not eat meat offered to idols if it offends the weaker brother whom Christ died for. 9. A dispensation of the gospel is committed to Apostle Paul. He works for free. 10. Gentiles should not fail to believe as Israel did. Paul uses the cup and the bread as a picture to remind us of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. 11. Follow Paul to follow the risen Christ, order of authority, and the Lord's table. 12. Spiritual gifts were idolized and misused, they were to edify the church. 13. Spiritual gifts were soon to cease and must be used in love. 14. Spiritual gifts were assigned to the unbelieving Jews. Order in the church. 15. Reviews the gospel. Our resurrection at the rapture is certain. It was a mystery. God's glory planned to exalt His Son in two realms, heaven and earth. 16. Start collecting money for the poor saints in Jerusalem. Be spiritually mature, follow Apostle Paul, and stand fast in the faith. Did you know that God has two different groups of people, in two different programs, and under two different sets of instructions? Law. Grace. Currently on hold. Israel. Little flock. Under law. Kingdom. Earthly. Kingdom. Of heaven. Israel and. Proselytes. Prophecy program. The Jews gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 3 verses 1 to 2 KJB Acts 2 verses 36 to 39 KJB By sight, under prophecy, gospel of the kingdom little flock church, of God, heavenly, body of Christ, the church, mystery program, pots, gospel of grace, Romans 1 verse 16 KJB 1 Corinthians 15 colon 1 dash 4 KJB Ephesians 28 to 9 KJB Currently Progress In Body of Christ Jew and Gentile One Body Under Grace By Faith Under Mystery Gospel of Christ Also Known as Gospel of the Grace of God the Church the Body of Christ <laughs>